Welcome to WDD's Hotspot. I'm Mike Luciano, Associate Editor, and in this week's episode we have the Splashless Bath for Your Dog, a flexible graphene-based terahertz detector, and exploring Mars using virtual reality. For dog owners, bath time is a chore that's mutually dreaded by both themselves and their pets. This device might not only take the hassle out of giving your canine companion a bath, but provide a thorough wash in what might wind up being an enjoyable experience for you and your pet alike. Known as the Bark Bath, the device is essentially a vacuum cleaner for your dog. In other words, the Bark Bath provides a method of washing your dog without hauling your pooch in and out of a tub along with the splashing and splattering that occurs in between. The Bark Bath's specially designed nozzles work on canines with both long and short hair. You first fill the tank with warm water and a special no-rinse shampoo. To mix the solution, you spray the mixture through the nozzle. The vacuum's nozzle helps suck dirt off the skin and hair of the dog, similar to how a carpet cleaner extracts dirt. One tank of water can completely wash canines up to 80 pounds, and the device uses up to 50 times less water than a traditional bathtub. The Bark Bath's hose is long enough so you can clean your pet far enough away from any noise the device makes, which is especially helpful with people who have skittish or anxious pets. The Bark Bath only costs $150 and is definitely something all dog owners should look into purchasing. Researchers from Chalmers University of Technology have created a flexible detector for terahertz frequencies. The device was developed with graphene transistors on plastic substrates. The detector is the first of its kind and can extend terahertz technology to applications that will use flexible electronics, including wearables and wireless sensor networks. Terahertz radiation exists in the frequency range of 100 gigahertz to 10 terahertz. Thanks to advances in polymer technology, inexpensive and lightweight design options became available, which led to this recent development. The terahertz detector has a few unique features. First, at room temperature, signals from 330 to 500 gigahertz can be detected, and the inclusion of graphene allows for plastic and fabric integration. Graphene also steps this device into the ever-growing IoT world. Plus, since it's translucent and flexible, it may help in terahertz imaging for vehicles and healthcare. To get the full scoop, the details of the research were recently published in the Journal of Applied Physics Letters. If you've ever been curious about what it would be like to walk on Mars, you don't have to wonder anymore. Scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Labs teamed up with Google to produce Access Mars, an immersive experience. Users with a virtual reality or augmented reality headset and a computer or cell phone can follow the paths of the Curiosity rover. A walkthrough explains what the Curiosity rover does and details its landing in 2012. Users can also visit four sites that have been critical to NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission, including Curiosity's landing site, Murray Buttes, Marius Pass, and Pahrump Hills. Additionally, the rover's latest location on Lower Mount Sharp will be periodically updated to reflect the mission's ongoing progress. Access Mars was adapted from JPL's on-site software, and imagery from NASA's Curiosity rover provided the terrain, allowing users to wander the actual dunes and valleys explored by the spacecraft. The free experience was built on WebVR, an open source standard. That's all for this week's episode. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes on wirelessdesignmag.com. For the WDD channel, I'm Jennifer Hooker. Thanks for watching.